This speech occurs in the city of Hufflepuff in Act 3, Scene 1, and I'll be playing as Henry V, the King of the English. At this part of the play, the English are fleeing from an unsuccessful attempt at taking the castle, and the young king must rally his men to take the castle, otherwise the siege is going to ultimately fail. I really enjoyed seeing the play in Year 8, and this speech particularly stood out to me, because I saw in Henry V a different type of leadership. Instead of criticising his men as deserters, he chooses to inspire, encourage, and call out the best in them. So as I'm going to perform my speech to you today, I will look to be that inspirational leader that I saw in year eight, and I will look to be a leader that perhaps I would follow into battle. What for us the breach, dear friends, wax more, or close up the walls of our English dead? Or in peace, there is nothing that has so become the man as well as stillness. And humility. When the blast of war blows your ears, then imitate the action of a tiger. Stick in the seams, cut up the blood, disguise fair nature with a high beaver breach, and then lend the eye a terrible aspect as it drives the portage of the head like a brass cannon, let the brow overwhelm it as fit. The dock of Gulfra overhung and jutting its confound face swill. With a wild and wasteful ocean. Set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit whose full height. On, on, who knows English, whose blood is bet and father's warm. Fathers that, like so many Alexanders, have in these parts more to even fought and sheathed their swords for lack of arms. Dishonor not your mothers. And now attest the those who you called your fathers did the gift you. Be copy now to men of grosser blood and teach them how to rule. And you, good yeoman, whose limbs were made in England, show us now the metal of your pasture. Let us swear that you're worth your brief, which I doubt not. For there are none among you so mean and base that hath not noble lustre in your eyes. For I see you standing like great Instead, straight start. Game to foot. Follow your spirit and upon. 